Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel of Devlis Mathematics Desk. So as you can see, today's video is for my little friends of class 8. And the topic it is rational numbers part 2. So in part 1 we did about addition and properties of rational numbers, right? So part 2 is about subtraction of rational numbers, okay? So we will do a few sums, you know how to subtract. So following the simple rules, okay? Just as addition, we will do some subtraction sums. Before starting my video, a huge thanks to all of you who have supported my channel so well till now. Keep supporting my channel if you found my videos and all the things that I do in my videos very clear and helpful. It motivates me, even one of you likes, share and subscribes to make better videos for you all. So keep doing that and with, our, with that let's get into our video. So rational numbers part 2. I could have wrote the title of subtraction but I decided that let me just tell them that it is subtraction of rational numbers simple topic just as addition here also if denominators are same the numerators will get subtracted okay so we will do a few sums on that so let's begin with that and remember this thing <coughs> a by minus b equal to minus a by b minus a by minus b equal to a by b Okay, and then a minus minus b equal to a plus b. <coughs> Remember these things, okay? Similarly, a minus plus b equal to a minus b, a plus minus b equal to a minus. <coughs> I know you all know this, but for your convenience, I'm writing them because these things will come across in the sums that we will do today, okay? So let's begin. A simple sum for you. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not well, that's why I'm coughing. Evaluate. Minus 4 by 9 minus 2 by minus 3. <coughs> so see, as I told you, A by minus B form should be given been written in minus A by B form. So this is equal to minus 4 by 9 minus minus 2 by 3 <coughs> a by minus b equal to minus a by b okay then we have to make the new denominator same so lcm of 3 and 9 equal to 9 <coughs> so let's do this becomes equal to minus 4 to lcm by denominator divided by LCM minus minus 2 multiplied by LCM by denominator 3 divided by LCM you remember that from numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM this is done to make the denominator same of any two fractions so that we can subtract or add the numerators okay so doing that it becomes the common denominators, the numerators will get subtracted. So minus 4 into 9 by 9 is 1, minus 4, minus, minus 3, 9 by 3 is 3, minus 2 into 3, 6 by 9. This is minus 4, this is minus 6. Minus 4 minus minus 6 divided by the curve, denominator 9. Okay. You understood that this is minus 6. This is minus 4. Minus 4 minus minus 6. Now I told you a minus minus b equal to a plus b. So minus 4 minus minus 6 equal to minus 4 plus 6 by 9 equal to 2 by 9. That is the answer of this question. Very easily we have got it. We made the denominator same by getting the LCM by first converting this a by minus b to minus a by b form. <coughs> After doing that, using this principle, we made the denominator same and this became minus 4 minus minus 6 by 9. So the common denominators and numerators get subtracted minus 4 minus minus 6. Then minus minus plus minus 4 plus 6 which is 2 by 9. That is the answer of the first question. So that's all you have to do. Be a little careful with the signs and you can be a master of this chapter. Okay. So guys, give me just one minute. I am coming.
Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. This is very easy for you, I know. If all chapters will be hard, then your life will become miserable, right? That can't be possible. You will have some easy and some hard chapters, okay? So question two. 5 by 21 minus minus 13 by 42. Yes. Evaluate. <coughs> Last previous one also evaluation. So this is again now let's make the denominator same. LCM denominator 21 and 42. Equal to 42. Using this form equal to 5 into sorry numerator into LCM 42 by denominator 21 divided by LCM 42. Again minus numerator minus 13 multiplied by LCM 42 divided by denominator 42 divided by LCM 42. Okay. Equal to 5 into 41 by 20, 21. 42 by 21 is 2 by 42 minus Minus 13 into 42 by 42 is 1 by 42. 5 into 10 by 42 minus minus 13 into 1 minus 13 by 42. <coughs> For the common denominators, numerators get subtracted. Equal to 10 minus minus 13 by 42. Okay. So minus minus plus 10 plus 13 by 42. And 10 plus 13 is 23 by 42. The answer for this easy question. <coughs> Again, what we did? We made the denominator same. Then LCM is 42. Numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM. This form. For both of them, we did that. We got the common denominator and the respective numerator. Simplifying the numerator, we got this. For the common denominator 42, the respective numerators get subtracted. 10 minus minus 30, which is plus 30. A minus minus B equal to A plus B by 42. 10 plus 30 is 23 and by 42 that is the answer of this question. So you see if you just means know how to change your signs and this very simple formula numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM. So denominator is LCM and numerator is numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator. Okay. This is used to make the denominator same. That's the main means or task you make the denominator same whatever operation is given for the numerators it can be done keeping the denominator constant so that's the easy theory let's see the next question <coughs> okay now subtract subtract what 5 by 8 from minus 3 by 8. <coughs> subtract this from this. Means from minus 3 by 8, I subtract 5 by 8. Subtract, subtract D from A means what? equal to a minus b okay another very simple principle for you you, you can means that will see but i have written it for you so just like that b from a means a minus b so for the common denominator 8 the numerators get subtracted minus 3 minus 5 to minus 8 by 8 no i did not the end 8 8 get cancelled out equal to minus 1 okay so very easy again from minus 3 by 8, subtract this. This is the required equation for the common denominator. The numerators get subtracted. Minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8 by 8. 8 and get cancelled out. Minus 1 is the answer. Very cool. Okay. Just remember this simple principle. Subtract b from a. It's given to you. That is a minus b. Nothing else. <coughs> Let's see the next question. They are going so well. Again, subtract. Okay. 
माइनस नाइन बाई ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम फाइव बाई थर्टी थ्री ओके बी फ्रॉम ए दैट मीन्स ए माइनस बी कल टू फाइव बाई थर्टी थ्री माइनस माइनस नाइन बाई ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दे टू मेड डी मेड अस सेम एलसीएम ऑफ बिलो मीटर इज व्हाट एलसीएम ऑफ थर्टी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी टू क्वार टू सिक्सटी सिक्स सो दैट फॉर्म न्यूमरेटर पाई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एलसीएम सिक्सटी सिक्स डिवाइड बाय डी मेडर थर्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय एलसीएम सिक्सटी सिक्स माइनस न्यूमरेटर माइनस नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एलसीएम सिक्सटी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय डी मेडर ट्वेंटी टू बाय एलसीएम सिक्सटी सिक्स सॉरी सो सिंपलीफाई सिक्सटी सिक्स बाय थर्टी थ्री टू माइनस सिक्सटी सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी टू थ्री बाय सिक्सटी सिक्स फाइव टू डेन टेन बाय सिक्सटी सिक्स माइनस माइनस थ्री इनटू नाइन इनटू थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवेन बाय सिक्सटी सिक्स सो तो कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर्स और न्यूमिनेटर्स कैसे सब्सट्रैक्टेड कर टू टेन माइनस माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवेन सी टेन माइनस माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवेन बाय सिक्सटी सिक्स माइनस माइनस प्� Ten plus twenty-seven by sixty-six, and that is nothing else but thirty-seven by sixty-six. The answer of this question. <coughs> so very easy again. What we did? B from A means A minus B. That's okay. We got the LCM of thirty-three and twenty-two as sixty-six. The numerator five multiplied by LCM sixty-six divided by denominator thirty-three divided by LCM sixty-six. Again minus. Numerator minus nine multiplied by LCM sixty six divided by denominator twenty two divided by LCM sixty six. Make the denominator same. Simplify the numerator numerators for the common denominators. The respective numerators get subtracted. So ten minus minus twenty seven that means a minus minus b means a plus b by sixty six. So ten plus twenty seven is thirty seven by sixty six. The answer of this question. So all sums are by all the same. Subtraction. For integers or natural numbers, how you do? Uh, here you have to do the same. The only concept that is extra it is making these denominators same by getting the LCM first of the denominators and then using this simple and beautiful form to make the denominators same. Okay. So let's the next question. Another question five. <coughs> Sum of two. This is a word problem. Two rational numbers. It's nine by twenty. If one of them. Is two by five. Find the other. <coughs> Let this other number be x. Let other number or let other number. This is a number, you know, number. Okay, number be x. See, we are taking the sum of two rational numbers. Is this? One of them is this, find the other. We have taken the other as x. So sum of these two rational numbers is nine by twenty. So let us write or two by five plus x equal to nine by twenty. Sum of these two is nine by twenty. Given in the question directly. So now <coughs> I shift this two by five to this side. It becomes nine by twenty minus two by five. Right. I shift it from here. All right, I just the sign gets changed, so it is minus two by five. That's okay. You all know that you have learned algebra already. So now again, LCM of five comma twenty equal to twenty. Okay, 
equal to what? Then this form numerator 9 multiplied by LCM 20 divided by denominator 20 divided by LCM 20. Numerator 9 multiplied by LCM 20 divided by denominator 20 divided by 20. <coughs> okay. Then minus. Again, numerator 2 multiplied by LCM 20 divided by denominator 5 and divided by 20 LCM. So, we did that simply by the numerators 20 by 20 is 1, so 9 into 1, 9, 9 by 20 minus 2 into 20 by 5 is 4 by 20 equal to 9 by 20 minus 8 by 20. And then for the common denominators, the numerators get subtracted equal to 9 minus 8 by 20 equal to 1 by 20. The very easy answer is here, guys. So, very well, we took the other number as x. Sum of these two rational numbers is 9 by 20 given in the question directly. So, I shift this 2 by 5 to this side, it becomes minus 2 by 5. Then, I get the uh, LCM of these two denominators, which is 20. Numerator 9 multiplied by LCM 20 divided by denominator 20 divided by LCM 20 minus numerator 2 multiplied by LCM 20 divided by denominator 5 divided by LCM 20. Then simply by the numerators you get this for the common denominators the numerators get subtracted 9 minus 8. 1 by 20 which is the value of x. Therefore other number is 1 by 20. Take the other as x. To sum is this. The both of them sum is this one. Shift this to this side. You get the other numbers value by subtracting this. So easy, right? Let's solve the next one. Okay. So it's question six. What rational number should be added to minus five by nine to get? Minus 2 by 3. Hmm, nice. Okay. Somewhat kind of a good question. <coughs> so let the number be x. Let this unknown rational number be x. Now we are telling that after you add x to minus 5 by 9, you get minus 2 by 3. So I will write like that. Or minus 5 by 9 plus x. Equal to minus 2 by 3. <coughs> now, x will be equal to what? I shift this minus 5 by 9 to that side, it becomes plus 5 by 9. <coughs> okay. So, here another method I am telling you. Suppose, you, here you can see that if you multiply 3, this denominator by 3, then the denominators of these two will become same. So you have what you have to do? Multiply this by 3 and this by 3 as well. This, multiply this by 3 means denominators become same. When you are multiplying the denominator by 3, multiply the numerator as by 3 as well. So that is another method equal to minus 2 into 3 by 3 into 3 plus 5 by 9. What does that become? Multiplying the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number doesn't change the fraction. Okay. Or to minus 6 by 9 plus 5 by 9. Now again, for the common denominators, the respective numerators get added. <coughs> minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 by 9. Therefore, <coughs> number is number to be added is minus 1 by 9. 
So very well, we took the unknown number as x. They are telling after you add x to this phi minus phi by nine, you get minus two by three. Got the equation accordingly. I shifted minus phi by nine to our right hand side. It became plus phi by nine. To make the denominator same, I multiplied the numerator of minus two by three and denominator of minus two by three. This three by three. Then three into three becomes nine. That is our main <coughs> purpose. So when you are multiplying the numerator, give equal value to the numerator also to make the fraction same. Always multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same number. Okay, so the fraction doesn't change. Now that results in the formation of common denominators, and then the respective numerators get added minus six and five, minus six plus five is minus one and y nine. So number to be added is x or minus one by nine. So I have written it accordingly. So very easy, right? Frame the equation, and you can then do some substitution and get the value of x directly. And additional subtraction is your means boss side. You are the bosses in that. No one can stop you, right? I know, I know. So this is going to be an easy chapter, right? I am promising you in the next video I will not let you go through an easy chapter. It's going to be hard, but we will make it easy. Okay, so let's see what will that chapter be. Not now until I finish this. Okay, this chapter has many parts. Next we will do multiplication and division. Don't just eliminate them. Okay. <coughs> Another question here. What should be Subtracted from minus two to get three by eight. Hmm. Again, let this what should be subtracted be x. Let Number to be subtracted b x no issues with that. <coughs> then I subtract x from minus two, I get three by eight. So let's write the equation accordingly. Minus two minus x equal to three by eight. <coughs> this x gets subtracted from this to get this right. So now, so I shift this x to this side and three by eight to this side, or minus two minus three by eight equal to x. Isn't that right? I shift x to that side, it becomes plus x, and I shift three by eight to this side, it becomes minus three by eight. Okay. So this is not minus two minus three by eight. Okay. Minus two is a separate number. Minus three by eight is a separate number. So what you can do is here. Here I am telling you one thing. So this is by one suppose. This is by one. So the same thing. If I multiply the denominator by eight, I have to multiply the numerator by eight. If I multiply the denominator by eight, the denominator just becomes same. So that's our purpose. <coughs> Minus two into eight by one by eight. One into eight. Minus three by eight equal to x. Or minus sixteen by eight minus three by eight equal to x. For the common denominators, the numerators get subtracted. Minus sixteen minus three by eight equal to x. Or minus nineteen by eight equal to x. So x is minus nineteen by eight. Therefore, number. To be subtracted equal is not equal to is minus nineteen by eight. For what problems always write the ending statement. <coughs> so again, what we did, we took the unknown number to be subtracted as x. I subtract x from this, it becomes three by eight. Wrote the equation accordingly. X shifted to that side, three by eight shifted to this side. Signs get changed. Now for this equation, minus two by one, minus three by eight, minus two and minus two by one are same. 
So I multiply 1 by 8, the denominator, the denominator becomes same. When I multiply this 1 by 8, I have to multiply minus 2 by 8 as well. To make the, keep the fraction same. Multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction or the same number to keep it same. We did that, our denominator will become same. For the common denominators, the respective numerators get subtracted. Minus 16 minus 3 is minus 19 by 8, which is x. x is the number to be subtracted. And that is the answer of this question. So always you don't need to use this method. Yes, this method can be used with C. For numbers like uh, that one, 33, 22. Many times it may happen that you don't know what is means the number by which you have to multiply both of them to make the denominator same. Like big numbers, okay. So for that use this method of numerator multiplied by LCM. It is lowest common multiple all of you can find, I know. So use this method. This is for bigger numbers. But here in this case directly you can see. Multiply by 8, the denominators will become same. So do that. Don't go for this method. It will take much space. Just when you multiply the denominator by any number to make the denominator same. Multiply the numerator of that fraction by the same number as well. well okay. To keep this fraction constant. Very well. I hope this is easy things for you. Let's see the last question for today. Okay. So see, there are some chapters which in which you have to be this fluent. Because if you are fluent in your basics, then we can run like the horses in the hard chapters. Hard chapters. We have been running till now, right? So it's good to sometimes polish our basics. So we are doing that only. We have learned how to sing. But you stop singing and you tell I want to sing again. Then what will happen? Your voice will come out like a horrible voice. So you should keep practice of what you have done the basics. So that's the basics here. We should keep our engines means mobilized. This subtraction. These are the means main, main things in a very in every sum that we do <coughs> in the art chapters. These things come in almost every step. So why to neglect them? No. Such a big crime can't be done. So let's solve the last one. Evaluate. 4 by 9. So sorry, sorry. 4 by 7, I think. 4 by 7. Minus. <coughs> minus 8 by 9. Okay, so my pen is trying to sleep. Oh yes, go to sleep by then. I've done quite a good job. Evaluate minus 4 by 7 minus minus 8 by 9 <coughs> minus minus 13 by 7 plus 17 by 9. Here see, what are the common denominators? 7 and 7 are the common denominators. These two. And 9 and 9 are the common denominators. <coughs> hmm. So for the common denominators, the operations of the numerators have to be performed. So this becomes equal to what you know. Minus 4 by 7. Minus. Minus 13 by 7. Minus. Minus 8 by 9. <coughs> plus 17 by 9. Okay, now for this common denominators, I have just rearranged them according to the denominators, okay, nothing else. So for the common denominators, 7, the numerators get operated minus 4, minus, minus 13, minus 4, minus, minus 13. And here again minus, then for the common denominator, 9, minus 8, plus 17. Hmm, that's okay. So this becomes minus 4 minus minus 13 means minus 4 plus 13. Already told to you a minus minus b equal to a plus b. Again minus minus 8 plus 17 it is 9. It's 9 by 9. This becomes 14, 13 minus 4, 9, 9 by 7 minus 9 by 9 get cancelled out 1. <coughs> okay. So equal to this is what 9 by 7 
that is 1 by 1. 1 by 1 is 1. Again, see if I multiply the denominator of this 1 by 7, then this numerator becomes same. So multiply the numerator by 7 as well. So 9 by 7 minus 1 into 7 by 1 into 7. Go to 9 by 7 minus 7 by 7 for the common denominator 7. I subtract the numerators 9 and 7 equal to 2, 2 by 7. So easily we got to the end of this question. What we did, we rearranged the terms according to the two denominators first. For the common denominator 7, minus 4, minus minus 13. Minus. For the common denominator 9, minus 8 plus 17. Simplify the numerators. Minus 4 minus minus 13 means minus 4 plus 30, which is 9. 9 by 7. And here, minus 8 plus 17, it is 9. 9 by 9, it is 1. So 9 by 7 minus 1. Okay. So 1 is 1 by 1. Now we see that if I multiply the denominator here by 7, the denominator becomes same. So multiply the numerator by 7 as well. We did that. We make the denominator same. Or the same denominators, the respective numerators get subtracted 9 and 7. It becomes 2 by 7. Okay. So very easy. First of all, rearrange according to the denominators, solve the numerators, then multiply make the denominators same here. Again, subtract the numerators. A combination of um, subtraction and addition, nothing else, comprising of two to three steps, and you are the boss of the arena here. So, how easily? I think this was the means most fluent, not oily. It's very fluent type of a speedy, fast type of a video that we have got here. The best one, I think, means regarding speed. We were means not even we're stopping or confused a little bit. We are going fast as a cheetah, right? Yes. So I hope all of this is clear to you. Remember these few things for the common denominators and numerators get subtracted and added. Frame equations according to the question and this formula to make the denominator same numerator multiplied by LCM by denominator divided by LCM. Okay. So for a fraction A by B. Okay. And suppose C by D. This BD is the LCM. So for this fraction numerator A multiplied by LCM BD divided by numerator b divided by the lcm <coughs> okay i am having this this is not here for you that's for explaining you a formula but where you see that directly you are by multiplying the denominator by any number you can make the denominator same do that don't go for this formula make the denominator same just make sure that whatever number you are using the denominator to multiply is the same number in the numerator as well to keep the fraction constant Numerator and denominator of a fraction and multiplied by the same number, then only the fraction remains same. And then do the operation of the numerators for the same denominator, nothing else. Remember these few things a by minus b by minus a by b. Minus a by minus b, many students think this is a negative number, no, my dear. Minus minus get cancelled out, a by b remains, it's a positive number, okay. Then a minus minus b equal to a plus b, a minus plus b minus plus minus b, a plus minus b plus minus minus b, okay. And I don't need, I need to write this, but I'm still writing. A plus plus B equal to A plus B. Okay. This was the most funniest formula, I think. But still, why should that formula be? You have got all the signs. So this should also be kept. So remember these things and you are the boss of rational numbers part 2, subtraction of numbers. Okay. <coughs> so in the next video, something new. Part 3 is coming. Comprising of multiplication and division of rational numbers for class 8 so we will see that video that video has a few concepts so we will learn that so with that i come to the end of rational numbers part 2 for class 8 comprising of subtraction of rational numbers and a few properties okay so if you found my video on these chapters this part very informative and helpful and all the formulas and sums were solved to you leave a like and share and subscribe my channel it motivates me to make better videos for you all Get ready for part 3 for rational numbers class 8 in the next video. Coming within 2 days I think. Comprising of multiplication and division of rational numbers. Uh, interesting session that's going to be. Till then with a lot of love from my side. To all my little brothers and sisters. Take care and goodbye. Thank you.